Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com and I'm here with the Virgo March Tarot. Thank you for joining me today. So it's uh, really very simple. There's five cards. You can uh, choose to do it as pick a card if you like. So pick a number between one and five now if you want to do it that way. Or you can think about uh, each number as being a week of the month. So let's go to the board now. If you are new, please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell right so if you're doing it by time week one two three four and the last three days of the month here because it's 31 days this month okay let's get a crack on card number one week one or you can just take whatever you need from the whole reading and always uh, it's best to take what resonates with you rather than, than just accept what I say, you know. Okay, so card one, let's go with that one there. I close my eyes. I've got um, pinky red, like it's a deep pink, uh, roses in front of me. This is like, uh, this is like mm, mature love. This is a love that lasts. If it was sort of pale pink, I'd say it was uh, young love. Uh, but it could be any type of love just about it's just a deep spiritual love it could be the love you feel for yourself for a pet uh, for a partner uh, any type of love okay card one let's go with that one okay oh the Emperor this is very interesting uh, because it says to me that you may be in a relationship either with yourself or someone else where there's somebody who likes to call the shots. Now, some people like that. If you're of a more conservative nature, you might like someone telling you what to do or gently guiding you. Perhaps you might want to call it that. Uh, but it's like the traditional Christian meaning of the father as the head of the family then in the secondary position, the um, mother, and then underneath that, the children. It's a hierarchical structure. So it's not about equality as such, where both partners are equally uh, as, um, you know, involved in the decision-making process. And plus, remember in relationships, there's different areas of life. And so... If it's to do with money, for example, the woman may handle the money because she may be better at it. Uh, the man may handle the cooking because he's better at it. So whatever you're better at doing uh, in a relationship, that's what you should do. Okay, it's really not that hard. But this person here wants to control the division of labour, the roles, who does what and all that sort of thing. So uh, you, this can also be a government agency, a government telling you what to do. Uh, it's somebody who wants to control various aspects of your life. And depending on your inclination, you may or may not be okay with that. So that's just saying if you pick card number one, be on the lookout for that or be on the lookout for that in yourself because sometimes the mind will have you doing all sorts of things which are not necessarily uh, good for you in the long term. Card number two, card number two, that was a bit of a uh, convoluted explanation there. Uh, okay, card number two, this one here, green, various shades of green uh, from dark green tree leaves right through to a sort of pale pastel type of green, very fluid. So from a f more fixed grounded energy right through to a f fluid watery sort of energy emotions and the physical realm. Uh, here we have the Queen of Pentacles who's all about the physical realm. Okay, This is um, what you value. It's usually things like possessions and money but can also be your value system. So you may put some things above money in certain, uh, certain circumstances like I would for example put freedom above money you know so but that's an individual uh, choice depending on your belief systems so this um, feminine energy here is very astute in business often she will work from home she's got a pentagram here and a spell box but to me it looks like a sewing box 
and she'll, she will use her considerable skills to make money. She's seated here on a gold throne because she's very good at investments and she's very practical and down to earth and she takes action. So she just doesn't get the ideas, uh, but she also acts on them and she does it in a very practical way, but she's clever. Okay, that's if you've picked card number two or the second week, money may become your focus because there might be some issues that you need to deal with with your money supply. Third card, the third week. Let's have a look. Vivacious Virgos, that one really wants to come out, doesn't it? Okay, what do I see there? I see a frame. A frame, a frame is a picture, okay? So it makes it sort of stand out more, more important. It's like your hair can frame your face, for example. Uh, and um, this frame, it's a gold frame. And uh, so it's bringing your attention to something that's very important this, uh, this month. Here's the gold frame of the cards. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords. This is in your thinking. It could be, um, it, it's usually like uh, somebody who is very intelligent, a younger man, maybe in his 20s, very clever, and has very creative thoughts and wants to expand with his thoughts. So thinks about a lot of things. Uh, but freedom and liberty uh, come to the picture here. And he wants to strike out on his own. Independence is a bit of a theme at the moment, by the way. I should let you know. So this person certainly does want to be independent. But this framing in gold seems, there seems to be a focus on this as well. And uh, it's a very valuable energy. Knight of Swords. Okay. All about the mental realm. You could be thinking of travelling, uh, for example, or somehow making your life larger. Bigger than big. All right. Card number four. Card number four. Let's see what comes out for you. No. Yes. Okay, we'll go with that one. Lots of soft little white clouds here in my mind, and they're bl blowing around fairly quickly. These are ideas. You know how ideas are just fun to play with? And so often I have sort of brainstorming sessions, for example, and you might write down ten weird ideas that come into your head, you know. I often think if I get one into the physical world, I'm doing well. Okay, the card that comes up uh, is the Four of Wands. This is a window of opportunity where you will, you will be motivated and inspired uh, to uh, come up with some new ideas, but it's more about feeling the, the fiery energy. And Four of Wands suggests that it's time to take a break. Uh, do you have time to have a few days off or do something different? This is a sort of energy that can be used for rejuvenation. Uh, give yourself some rewards. See, she's got the grapes here in her hands. It's representing the rewards of the harvest for the work that she's already done. Okay, so... Um, there's a lot of growth here. See all those green leaves around around the frame. And the blue and green in the background is about communicating her heart's desires. But yeah, take a, a small break if you can. It doesn't even mean you have to go away and leave the house, but do something different. Maybe go for a picnic or something like that. Okay, fifth card. Last card. Let's see what comes up. Uh, I'm going to go with that one there. Um, something different. I feel like it's something that doesn't come up very much. Um, what do I see? I see steps rising. Okay, some action steps to be taken. Uh, and then there's a tweaking, like you get to a landing and then you change direction. But you need to take these steps so that you can change direction. The card that comes up is, oh, it's the Knight of Cups. Well, this one does come up sometimes. Uh, he's seated on a lobster here, as you do, in the ocean, which represents emotions and also the subconscious. This is like a, um, a young person that uh, may be, again, in their 20s, and um, they're exploring their feelings. They're feeling all their feelings and exploring how they feel about different scenarios sometimes they're not sure so they might go and do something a bit weird or a bit um, over the top 
it's like push, 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 and then they realise they've pushed too far, and uh, so then they bring it back a bit, dial it back a bit. But yeah, it's all about growing up and learning. Uh, but yeah, typically someone young also wants to go out and have some fun and socialise, but there's time alone as well to deal with the feelings and the unconscious contents. Okay, so vivacious Virgos, that's your tarot reading. Now I'm just going to close my eyes and see what I can see for you for March 2021 for Virgo. What do we see? There's something here forming a picture over here to the left. And it is a little bit like that uh, last uh, card, Knight of Cups. It's a little bit like that. It's like a knight, but he's on the left and he's striking out. So he's coming from a position of, um, and I say he, it could be a she. Uh, he's coming from a position of femininity. So getting in touch with the feminine side. It's not all about you know bravado and being macho and all of that stuff it's about feeling uh what's going on inside and becoming more sensitive and i would encourage both uh males and females men and women to do this uh, because all too often it's been the realm of women uh, to you know be the sensitive ones it's okay for guys to be sensitive all right, now uh, there's water rising here. That suggests emotions coming up. It's not rising too fast, uh, but when water's rising, that's like the emotional level in your life. And you need to find a balance with that. Too much and it could be overwhelming, not enough, and it's like your life becomes dry and lifeless. It's the emotions that give life. Uh, the emotions flowing through our bodies can re-enliven, rejuvenate, reanimate us. So, you know, emotions are super, super important because what happens after time, if we don't have those emotions flowing through every cell of our bodies, eventually they just sort of go dry and contract. And as you get older, things do tend to dry and they tend to dry up and contract. So we want to we want to um, make up for that. We want to rebalance that by letting our emotions flow. Okay, singing. Okay, they're saying to me, who out there used to sing but is not singing or doesn't sing enough? They're encouraging you to go back to singing. I've got somebody here with a microphone like this. You need to sing, okay? That will help get those emotions, get those juices flowing again, uh, which will make you younger in a sense. You could even look physically younger if you do that. Okay, and they're also saying um, it's to do with also interacting with an audience. It's good to sing at home uh, or, you know, do karaoke or whatever, uh, but they want you to have an audience of real live people if you can. Alrighty, what else do I see? Work. Um, okay, Vivacious Virgos, this is a month of work if you wish. I see tractors, I see ploughing the land, I see it's like getting ready for um, planting. There's planting of new seeds, so these are new beginnings. It's not the time to plant this very minute, minute but soon it will be the time to plant uh, the seeds, and that might be through the Australian winter, uh, New Zealand winter, uh, or um, the summer if you're in the Northern Hemisphere plant those seeds okay then you'll have a new beginning coming soon if you do that okay and uh, the last thing I'm seeing it's like um, the caterpillars in the cocoon stage they're just I can see all the little cocoons and they're just breaking out of the co cocoons so this is bringing new life okay so that's what's coming to you vivacious Virgos anyway I hope this has been uh, a little bit helpful for you today uh, please give it a like, share on your social media, would be fabulous, or come visit me at uh, Facebook, uh, rosesmith.absolutesoulsecrets uh, on Facebook, and you can share off my page there if that's easier for you. Okay, have a wonderful month everyone, and I shall see you again soon, and if you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, thanks a lot, and bye for now. Thanks so much for watching please visit my website 
absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.